Yo, what's going on YouTube? Dante from Grown Green here. Got a 90s video for you, a little pack opening. 90s content, if you guys are loving it, it's part of the Attic Fine series. Let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Please support the channel. Nonetheless, we got two upper deck packs today. The first one being a 1995 baseball upper deck. Um, this is a short print pack. We got three of those. We also have... Oh, that's a 95, I mean. We have a 1994 upper deck collector's choice as well. Oh, this is a series one. We're going to pop this one open first, and then we're going to get into these three. Next, the short prints. Uh, we're going to see what we can get out of these. Hopefully we get something nice. You never know. Like I said, it's part of the Attic Fine series. These packs were opened in the 90s already, so... I'm going to see what we get out of these. Let's see if I can focus in. Get you guys better content. There we go. Starting off with a prospects here. We got a Carlos Delgado. Jason Kendall. Nice. Let's see if I can focus in. There we go. Cool. Next one being... These are uh, Upper Deck 94 Collector's Choice Packs. Let me focus a little better on that. Sorry guys, there we go. Starting with a Rich Wilkins. Next card's going to be Scott Stanovic. Check the back out on this one. It's a rookie card here. Rookie Stanovic. Nice. Nice little card there. Upper Deck produces quality cards. You could tell this is a nice card. Next one is B. Adonaray Osborne. Nice, nice. Oh, okay, we got a Dante Bichette. I love that. Sharing the same name as me. Dave Fleming. And then finishing it off with a Pat Borders. Blue Ray. Or Blue Jays. I got that confused with the Devil Rays. Not big baseball guys. We'll check the back out of them, the regular ones there. That's a prospect card. It shows all the prospects. Pretty cool. Alright, so the best card we got out of that was the rookie card. Nonetheless, let's go. Let's rip, rip, rip. I'm going to get into these next ones. These short print upper deck. These are 95. This is the next year. Ooh, it's a nice card here. We're starting off with a Milwaukee Bruins. I like the, I like the way these cards look. They're very, very good looking cards. We got the short print on the side there. Upper deck. Nice. Starting off with a Ricky Bone. Chuck Finley. Cool, these cards are very nice. Next is a Pat Hint. Hint in. Let's check the back out on these ones. Let's see what they're looking like. Got the upper deck print right there. The baseball print, the diamond. Pretty sweet looking cards there. Cool. Ooh, okay, we got the blue on the side on this one. That's a nice little sapphire bling instead of the ruby brit bone. Ooh, okay, this one's got a little silver side. A little diamond flare, and this one's going to be a Roman Martinez starting picture. So these facts are pretty nice. Next one's going to be an Eddie Williams. They got the red, white, and blue theme going for these ones. Rip open this next one. See what we get. I don't know what we're looking for out of these. I don't know what the most expensive one. If any of these are worth money, I'll pop it up. Okay, starting with a Barry Larkin. It'll be worth something. Next one, Ricky Bones again. We got a Mike... 
McFarlane, Ruben Sierra, and the next two are blues. Let's see what we get out of this. A Bobby Bonella, and an Ozzy Smith to finish it off. See what the blue ones on the back look. Cool, cool, cool. Nice little cards there. Ripping this last one up. If you guys are enjoying the 90s content, please let me know. Like, subscribe. Ooh, okay, nice little card there. We got a Manny Ramirez. Nice. See what year this one is. It's a rookie card. Nope, this is his first year. Nice card nonetheless. Next one, oh, okay, Roger Clemens, Hall of Famer, nice. Know if it's worth it. If like I said, if these cards are worth anything, I'll pop them up. Gonna mark Grace next. I love the way these cards look. These might be my favorite upper deck cards, baseball cards, favorite looking baseball cards we ripped on this channel. Next one's a Moises Alone. And finishing the park out with a Mark Portugal. That's a manager. Nope, nope, nope. He's a player. A pitcher. Cool, guys. But nonetheless, if you guys are enjoying the Upper Deck content, the 90s content, the Addicts Fine series, please let me know. Like, subscribe. Link to the eBay will be in the description. Thanks, guys. Grown Green.